Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected podcast. So we were interested in understanding if there is a stable capability of a group to perform different kinds of tasks. Prior research on team performance generally has looked at teams performing one specific type of task or in one specific setting. And we were interested in knowing if there's an underlying capability that would transfer across different kinds of tasks. And so we set out to do that by looking at uh, performance in teams the same way that researchers have explored uh, intelligence in individuals. So we looked at how teams perform tasks in different domains and how that could then be used to predict that team's performance of a very different sort of task. One thing that was surprising was that group intelligence, collective intelligence, was not strongly related to the intelligence of the individual team members. When we began this research, we weren't sure what the relationship would be between those two concepts. In the past, it has been shown that group member individual intelligence would predict how a team would perform uh, in different sorts of uh, situations. However, when we uh, devised our collective intelligence measure, we found that it was not strongly re related to individual intelligence, that it was uh, quite separate from individual intelligence. The significant finding really is that there is a consistency to how groups perform different kinds of tasks. So in concluding that an individual is intelligent, you usually want to observe how they perform in very different types of areas. And so similarly, we observed groups performing very different kinds of tasks. And we found that groups that were good at one kind of task tended to also be good at these other kinds of tasks, suggesting that there's this consistent underlying factor that really drives their performance. There are a number of factors that do predict collective intelligence, and they were different than what we really expected when we began. We measured a number of things about the individual team members themselves, including their intelligence, their personality, and the typical factors were not predictive of collective intelligence. One thing that was predictive was the social sensitivity of the members of the team. Social sensitivity is a feature that is related to social intelligence. In this case, our test was uh, examining the degree to which people can read the facial expressions of others and make attributions about what they're thinking and feeling. That was significantly related to collective intelligence. Another factor that was related was the proportion of women in the group. The more women, uh, the more highly collectively intelligent the group was. However, that ended up uh, being also related to social sensitivity because women, on average, are more socially sensitive than men. And once you factor that into the analysis, that was really explaining those results. The final thing that was uh, significantly predictive was the uh, distribution of conversational turn-taking in the group. We recorded group members' spoken communication as well as nonverbal communication and looked at how evenly distributed the total amount of communication was. And what we found was that if it was evenly distributed, the group was more collectively intelligent. However, if somebody dominated the conversation, making it very uneven uh, in terms of the number of speaking turns different members had, uh, then the group was less collectively intelligent. The ability to measure an underlying C factor, uh, something that is consistent in the performance of a group, would then allow you to predict how a particular group is going to perform a novel task in a novel context. Given how much is often riding on the performance of teams, say senior management teams or product development teams, being able to predict better than we can now which teams are going to perform well can have huge benefits.